So you've heard of the term sleep restriction, and to be honest, it sounds a little bit terrifying because you're not getting much sleep now, so how does getting even less sleep gonna help you? We're gonna cover that in today's video. Hi, I'm Martin Reed from insomniacoach.com. I help people with insomnia improve their sleep so they can live happier, healthier lives. So sleep restriction isn't about restricting the amount of sleep you get. What it is about is restricting the amount of time you spend in bed. So for example, a lot of people with insomnia, they may manage say five hours or six hours of sleep at night, but they'll generally get into bed say 10 o'clock at night and not get out of bed till say six o'clock in the morning. So they're allotting in effect eight hours for sleep, even though they know that they're not gonna be getting that eight hours. They would like to get the eight hours, but right now they're not capable of getting those eight hours. So sleep restriction is about reducing this sleep window down so it more closely matches the amount of time you spend asleep. Now what this does is it does not lead to less time asleep, but it leads to less time awake in bed. So in effect, you spend more time in bed asleep rather than awake, and this reduces sleep-related anxiety and it helps make the bed a strong trigger for sleep because more and more of the time you spend in bed is spent asleep rather than awake. I hope you found this little nugget interesting. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. I share a new two minute sleep snippet every weekday. If you have any questions, concerns or feedback or if there's anything you'd like me to cover in a future video, please leave a comment below or email me at hello at insomniacoach.com and I hope to see you back here again soon.